The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys. We're playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Okay, so we ran through Coffee World. We took down six of the nine staff members that are operating in this area, as well as a wolf. But I don't think that wolf counts toward the overall staff members. Um, Saga mentioned that the staff members, there were nine, and that they've all been taken. But we only saw six. So that means that there's three still running around. Um, now from here, though, there's two different places we can go. One is the Lighthouse Trailer Park, and then the Lighthouse specifically. There might even be an off, like an like another option off to the right, because I noticed like their biker workshop thing. Yeah, this might be it. Okay, so there's a third direction as well. So we can get through there. Okay, we'll do that in a second. I want to go to the lighthouse. I don't really know. <sighs> do I? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna change mine. We're gonna do this first because it's still like sort of related to coffee world. Yeah. How many shotgun shots do I have? Only one. I gotta mess with the uh, crossbow. Practice with that a little bit and see if I can get decent with it. God, I hate when I record and my hair looks bad. Look, if I'm gonna be scared and look like a total moron, I wanna look decent doing it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. Yeah, but we're right inside it now, okay. That well that we also ran into, there was nothing to interact with on that so i have a feeling that we're gonna we're gonna find that to be an obstacle later let's go ahead and unlock that now i felt like she could have probably just like unlocked that from the other side around see if there's anything that we can collect or use but I also want to be mindful of enemies wait that's here which means that there's some page fragments or whatever those are for upgrades around here somewhere Gotta be thorough. Yeah, it's very close to here. And there it is. Another lunchbox. I must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. That was a big chunk. Calavella Knights. Okay, let's see. Where is... Bow and bolts. I'm curious about this. Hold the fire button. Draw the crossbow further to increase damage in a straighter arc. Fires two bolts before needing to be reloaded. That's probably... Yeah. Bullets lodged into enemy bolts lodged lodged ugh. bolts lodged into enemies will attract bullets fired near them. That's curious. Increases reload speed. Shotgun. Kill enemies for health. That might be what I use next. What's the pistol one? the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Nah, sounds dumb. I do headshots and we can stun an enemy. No. Actually, the, the problem with this is if it's specifically for the shotgun, I don't have a lot of ammo for that. The bolt is the one that I think we need. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed before? Or had the weapon changed somehow? Like in a dream? 
the dream part, probably. Artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. Doing just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What, what a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm crafting a selection of custom basswood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there, all right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat, you... You know all that FBI business when it was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then, what was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki! Thanks, Tapio. It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Did Yako and Elmo put you up to this? Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and and we'll be back after this. Weird. God, I would hate to live in this freaking town. Well, watery or bright falls for that matter. Oh shit. Oh, Atari butchers victim with a Puko knife. That's weird. So there was like a Japanese presence in this like Seattle-esque town like so long ago? I don't know. That seems curious, but okay. All right, let's see. How do we get inside this bitch? Same garage from the photo. Am I not supposed to go inside? That music makes me wonder if there's an enemy now coming for me. Something's here. There we go. I need something to cut this. Yeah, so screwdriver's not gonna work this time. And three members of the of the staff. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Shit, good call. Oh 
come on. The override thing is so weird. It's usually two or three times I have to click it before it to work. That scared the out of me as well. Wait. Maybe there was something. Awesome. One more. Just to be on the safe side. One. Two. It's a bug that doesn't bother anybody else. Marisetter is not afraid of the rough questions. I hear the enemy. Sounds very aggressive. There's never really anything out here in the outskirts, but the fact that I can walk out here makes me want to check. You never know. I like that they don't design the game to be like invisible barrier blocking some of this stuff. Yeah, it's like right here. There's a barrier, but at least I can walk around the coast. Cause like, well, there's no need for me to go in the water. But I like that I can freely explore everything. Okay, I wonder if I can peek inside this trailer park and get an idea where that guy's at. trailer what? sweetie pie right on time like we were just saying it's not true the lies to hurt you and make you weak don't believe a word they believe because deep down they want to be told what to think we're different Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Sarasoka. He is your grandfather. I am the old father. <laughs> hey. Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. 
Okay, there's more upgrades nearby. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our refuge. Well, no. Nursing home. Then overcome adversity and achieve your box. goals. Okay. That gave me a pretty big chunk, though. I don't think there's anything I can upgrade yet with that. 18, well. 12, 18, 14, 16. It's not bad, but like, whatever. Saki was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. Let's do a little profile situation here. Was that? Oh, maybe it was a clue. That's done. Nothing there. Fine. Unless, do we have to pin it? Hold on, let me see. Oh, I guess you can just pop on over here each time. Interesting. I haven't found any of these in Bright Falls, really. There it is. Okay. red chests or ice buckets or ice chests or whatever they are. These guys aren't taken. They're nuts, but there we go. Yep. That's a weird bug. Same as you, kiddo. Okay. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson, you old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit! A Viking goddess! I like the sound of that. Tor. Odin. Saga. All Norse-inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? Looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. Yes, this game has that bug. She sees right through it. Takes way too long to reply. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson Moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? <laughs> this long pause is so awkward. I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay, never mind. Huh. Yeah, Ellen Way 2 players reporting audio and lip syncing issues on PC. Yeah, I haven't gotten that bug. Yeah, 
I don't know. It's definitely a weird bug. It feels like every patch that gets pushed out, another handful of bugs comes with it. So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. It's like a five second delay. Okay, so she mentioned a Taken, but so far we haven't run into any yet. Obviously. But that doesn't mean they won't show up. Could be in my trailer too. Or Saga's trailer, rather. Oh, I'm surprised it actually opened. I didn't think that was going to open up. something up from our last broadcast there was some talk an off-color joke of sorts about Winnie Davis of Davis family beef jerky being dead which of course is a bunch of hogwash so I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors and, oh it looks like we already have her on the phone line <laughs> Wendy hello hi there Pat Ah, uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember, we were going to do the announcement today. Oh, is that, was that today? Uh, listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater. And, and I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I... Jim Figamore will be running for mayor. <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town? Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello to glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. There. I said it. Now, Jim, this is a family show. Ah, I found my notes here. So, so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question. What exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right. So it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. <laughs> The only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I actually had more Jim Figamore and Pat Main signing off. <laughs> Ridiculous. Dear Mom, as I promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a new... By going to a hot new restaurant that Connie's recommended. Laura's doing well in school. She'll have her pick of any college with the grades she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making our apartment into a home. Training staff plus shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent chase or chaise longue would be so hard? I don't know what that is. Uh... All going well. Don't you worry about us. Hope all is well with you too, love, Megan. At least someone got out of this shithole. God, 
God, everything is just... Oh, shit. I can go pretty deep in this. Everything is just so wet. But I guess that's like, that's Washington. Oh, please don't tell me this is a bug and I just got stuck. Oh, thank God. Oh, you can actually go into this one. I need bolt cutters. Yeah, you can't go further than that. Okay, they're still chilling. So I can't fight yet. Reeks of booze. <laughs> the plot thickens. Murder at the Manor House. An architectural mystery by Margaret Formo. Because I know you love a good pun, Ilmo. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Our deepest and golden condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow, I think well-being should be two words, isn't it? Uh, and will allow the time needed for you to recover from this tragedy. I've already seen like a handful of typos in this game. Not to be snobby, but just saying, I know this. <laughs> the FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. We could really use the, that insightful mind of yours. So we hope to see you back in our ranks again soon. Warm regards, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Morrow. Criminal Justice. R. Moreau? Armor Row. I like that name. I recognize that name. Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. Pizza looks disgust. And all the beer bottles, though. I wonder if she went through a drinking problem after her daughter passed. Also, Logan, the name of a girl? Come on. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great granddad and great grand uncle. What the hell's that? Found relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. How do you know? What is a clicker? Fallen knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Hey, this is David. Leave a 
message. David? Is Logan okay? Uh oh. Call me back as soon. The sheriff? Mulligan? What the fuck? Hey! Stay where you are! Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Okay, for the record though, it looked like he was taken and became a cultist. Like, I don't think he chose to be that, but I'm not really sure. What the hell? Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deer Fest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed Deer Fest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Calabala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. <laughs> that very team. And you're gonna get a kick out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deer fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <laughs> our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just deer fest. Our floats are a perfect gift to weddings, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or your canaceria. Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> Why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at deer fest last year. Floats were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And it was stuff people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will ah! knock you off your feet. Ah! Order yours today. Are they twins? Because it looks like the same actor. They might. I wonder if they're twins or or what. Let's grab whatever's in here before we move on. Yeah, I don't think the cultists are people that are choosing to be taken. Not finding anything useful in here. Music is making me anxious af though. That has to be something. No? You are a handsome deer. Doesn't really seem like the time. in the penis and he totally just took it. Thornton too? Shit. Oh, damn it. Two and of them. All, taken? all right. I think this is where we're going to save it. I know, I know, I know. What a cliffhanger. We'll take on these guys in the next episode of the playthrough though. So for now, thank you for watching this episode of Alan Wake 2. If you enjoyed it. Shit, fuck. Why? Why did that happen? That's fucked up. <laughs> why did why did it do that? Why did it try to scare me? Fuck you. Fuck you, Alan. Wait, god damn it. <sighs> if you enjoyed this episode of the playthrough, show your love button the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more Alan Wake 2. Oh my god, my heart. It's like, I'm going to have a heart attack playing these games. Alright, that's it for me, guys. Take care of you well. I'll see you next time.